Jesus bless this message in Jesus name I pray amen all right you guys this will be a short walk and talk because with this I got to get my phone worked on or something I can't go but so far from the house um, but either way um God has been giving me some apocalyptic dreams the past week like crazy yes and he's showing me stuff he's showing me I can't even go into everything he showed me but I'll tell you something God has been calling here through my mouth to you guys to give your life to Jesus Christ. And, and that, that doesn't mean just say the words. It means give your life to him. Make him Lord of your life. Love him. Honor him. Obey him every chance you get. Every time, do what the Lord said to do. Like his mama said, whatever he says, do it. Well, then do it. Right? I know some people still think, oh, ain't nothing changing. Look around you. Open your eyes. You remember a year and a half ago when Jesus told me, and I told y'all all the time, this past fall, well, it, it was before this fall. So I was telling you, this coming fall, this coming fall, which is the fall that just passed, you're going to start seeing stuff now. That's when it's going to start. It's going to start heating up. And what did you see? You saw floods, 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 storm, 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 crazy lightning, crazy heat, 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 heat. You saw it flood in. And drought in the same place. You're seeing ships that have been on the bottom of the ocean for year, hundreds of years rising up. There's no water. No water. And I'm talking about the Titanic is rising. It's seeing sunlight now. Not up to the top yet. But you're seeing them old uh, ships that was in the uh, Holocaust. Them old warships. They ain't got a drop of water on them anymore. It's dried up. It's just dry. It's, it's flooding and droughting in some of the desert places at the same time. A lot of death we had this summer over floods, y'all. And I told you there was going to be a lot of death. God told me there was. And the winter ain't going to be no better. The winter ain't going to be no better. He said this past fall is when it started. And it did. With the volcanoes, the meteorites. That was, our, that was the cue he gave me. That was a sign. You remember I told you? And that's what happened. And now we started watching all these storms coming in, killing people, floods, 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 drowning. You know, 100 people dying here, 100 people dying there, uh, 300 people dying here. They're dying all over the place with floods. What does that flood do? It messes up your crops. Can't feed the animals. Can't feed the animals. We don't get fed. The water coming up from under the ground, the saltwater intrusion. The water coming out of the sky, just like it was in the days of Noah, right? Just like God said, just like it was in the days of Noah. So will it be when the coming of the Son of Man. Doesn't mean just floods. That's just one of the signs. Well, it's happening. Happening. I got to be careful how I say this here. Doctor, I'm I'm you have to figure me out here. Dr. F, if I spell it wrong, it's okay. Dr. F-A-U dot 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 C I. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Had like 12, he had, he had people raised 12,000 dogs. What? To experiment on. I'm talking about like this one particular dog. He let sand fleas, covered that dog in sand fleas, put him in a cage and watched the sand fleas eat the dog to death. See how long it would take. What's his purpose of doing that for? What you think is what kind of person does something like that? Because they're not people, y'all. The people ruling the, the the entities ruling this world right now is not people. Do you understand that? I hope you understand that. I hope you understand this, y'all. The only way, the only way you're gonna make it, man isn't by freaking out and worrying about it and getting all anxious. It's by giving your life to Jesus Christ and getting sealed by the Holy Spirit. Satan's going to be out here marking up his people. You guarantee that. That's coming soon. And it's going to happen. This was, It's going to take a world. It's going to take war. You understand? And calamities. And like what they're doing. What you see happening. And more of it. To bring about the new world order. Do you understand? To bring that man of sin out to the front. But then don't forget, once there's been so much calamities and death and all this stuff, catastrophes, when he does come out, don't forget this, he comes in peaceably. 
He enters in peaceably, the man of sin. He, he don't come in uh, being all mean and hateful and forceful. No, he comes in. He wants you to like him. Remember, he's deceitful, very deceitful. Satan is deceitful. He comes in peaceably, enters in peaceably. He gets the world to love him, love him, cherish him, adore him. And then he throws the, the M-A-R, you know what, out at you on your right hand or forehead. He throws that out you then once he gains your trust. Do you understand? And when that, when that comes out for your hand or forehead, I want to be careful what I say here. M-A-R, you know what, of the beast. When that comes out, that's in the middle of the tribulation period. Read your Bible. Let the Holy Spirit teach you. And when that comes out, you're going to be seeing the two witnesses out here doing their thing in Jerusalem. You ain't seeing none of that yet, but you will. Okay? You're also going to see the hand of God throw his judgments down, too. And people go blame it on CERN and the elites and everybody else. Yeah, they're doing their thing. But you're going to see God throwing some judgments down, too. Not to hurt us. Not to hurt anybody. But to bring some sinners to their knees because every eye is going to know oh, that is God. Jesus is God. Every eye is going to know it. Did you know that? So I encourage you guys to make your mind up and get really serious with God. Not just talking about him or hearing about him or listening to a video or maybe skipping through your Bible a little bit. That ain't enough. Make, you got to make Jesus Lord of your life. And you do that, y'all, by searching him, studying him, learning him, his will, his ways, his purposes, like we teach you here. And then by obeying him, literally. That's the only way you're going to show him that you do love him, is by you being a doer. Obey him. And that's out of Jesus' own mouth. He said, if you love me, you will obey me. If you love me, you'll keep my commands. Ain't a lot of people really love him, y'all. Not really. A lot of people say they do. And I keep telling you people, I saw an ocean full of people that said, I love him. He's my God. And he's going to look at these people and say, I'm sorry, I don't know you. You didn't love me enough to obey me. You don't know me. You don't love me. You don't even know me. Because if you know me, you'll know I told you if you love me, you'll obey me. You'll do the things I told you to do to let me help change your character. To make you more like me. You won't be bound your knee to Satan, y'all. We're going into the apocalypse. It's time to wake up, people. Please wake up. All right, I want to tell you we got Google Meets Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Everybody's welcome. The code is always the same. Please write it down. Those of you that's emailing me and asking me, it's the same code. R A O. U B O F M V I. You can also find that on jesusdoers.com. Please write that down. Go in there and find out whatever information you need on jesusdoers.com. It's there. Okay? Don't be, you're like, I'm not a people person. You don't have to be. You don't have to turn your mics on. You don't have to turn your cameras on. But you do need to obey God. And He said, forsake not assembling thyself together. So. You just got to make your minds up. That's what you got to do. Make your mind up. That's exactly what you got to do. You got to put your own desires down, your own self down, and uh, step out for Jesus and do the things he told you to do, not what we want to do. You remember this. We are opposite God. We don't think like him. He don't think like us. Until we give our life to Jesus, we, we are children of Satan. Did you know that? Jesus said that. You have your father, the devil, and that's the way we think until we make Jesus Lord of our life and obey him. All right. Thank those of you that's helping our ministry out. Um, if you've seen Igor starting to upload videos now, give him a break. He's learning how to do this. Um, we got to we got to get some new equipment, new lighting. We both need to get that. So thank those of you that's helping our ministry so we can grow and get God's word out to more people, more platforms further out into the world. It takes the body to help with that. Thank you guys so much for honoring God and helping your ministry and helping us, your teachers and preachers. Thank you for helping us. 
and any of you that want to, it's in the description on the videos. All right, don't forget Google Meets. I'm encouraging y'all to come and give God some worship and glory. We got some awesome people in that room that really love God. Um, the Israel trip is now closed off. I've been advertising for a while. We can't take any more people now. Um, but maybe if God willing sends us again in a year or two, I don't know if that'll even happen. But we'll see what happens. But this one is closed off now. All right. God bless you all. And I will see some of y'all at Google Meets Thursday. Anything you need is in this, the description. God bless you all. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Make him Lord of your life. Make your mind up. God bless.